Hi all, welcome to Raw Online. Now coming to the techniques, what are the various techniques available in cannulating the radial artery? You have direct cannulation, transfixation, otherwise known as through and through technique. And you have Seldinger's technique where you use the guide wire. And you have ultrasound guided which has become the standard of care in all patients nowadays. Now coming to the direct cannulation. You have the needle here and you have the catheter. You go at an angle of 30 to 45 degrees and here it is the artery. The first step is you palpate the artery. Then you use a bigger needle to puncture the skin and the subcutaneous tissue. Then you enter the catheter at an angle of 30 to 45 degrees. That is the first step. As you enter the artery with the needle and your catheter is also inside the arterial lumen, you can see the blood coming at the catheter proximal part. Now, what is very important is once blood comes, you should not remove the needle. You should advance the catheter and needle little further. Blood flash indicates the needle tip is in the artery. That is very, very important. Once the needle is in the lumen, you can see the blood inside the proximal part of the cannula. Now, the most important thing is once you see the blood, you have to advance little further so that the catheter is also inside the lumen. That is very, very important. Sometimes only if the needle tip is there, you can still see the blood, but the catheter is outside the vascular lumen. So, you have to advance the catheter and the needle little bit inside the lumen and you have to see that blood flash is there. So, that the needle tip and the cannula is there in the vascular lumen. Once you confirm that you remove the needle, still you can see the pulse style flow. That means your catheter is inside the lumen of the artery. Then you push it further and apply distal pressure until you connect the transducer set to the arterial catheter. This is how you do the normal direct cannulation. You just pass the needle inside the lumen. You advance the catheter along with the needle inside the lumen. You remove the needle. Then slide the catheter inside the vascular lumen. This is direct cannulation. Now coming to technique of uh, radial artery cannulation by direct method. The first thing is the positioning. You have a splint pillow and you have placed the lower pad below the wrist crease so that the radial artery becomes prominent here. And dorsiflexion is very very important this is the positioning next is you have to take time to palpate the artery you have to feel the artery you have to assess the depth mentally so that you take at least 30 to 40 seconds feeling the artery so you have a gross mental picture of how much depth the artery is located here you are feeling the artery For demonstration purpose, I am having a line over the radial artery. This is the area through which the artery is going. The next important part is local infiltration. You have to give nice local anesthesia so that the patient does not have any pain. Here you can see a nice wheel is being developed with local anesthesia. This will relieve the pain as well as locally vasodilate the radial artery. Now, the another important point is enlarging the skin rent with the larger broad needle. This hole which is made with the bigger needle helps to place the catheter along the needle without any sharing of the distal tip. You can see a puncture is made up to the subcutaneous tissue. And through this rent, the needle and catheter will be passed. Now you can see the torticoach catheter is passed in. Now as the 
catheter and the needle is passed inside the lumen, you can see the blood spurt here. Now, I have advanced it further so that there is no blood flow. Slowly, I am coming out. I can see the spurt here. Now, once you see the spurt here, you can use a guide wire or the needle to guide the catheter inside the vessel lumen. Now, the catheter is inside the vessel lumen.